Hi guys, good morning, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, no, no, March the 20th of 2021. I'm Darren and this is Green Pro Clean. Um, this isn't Green Pro Clean, but I am still Darren. Uh, just about anyway. But anyhow, uh, what's going on? My first video of 2021 and it's only taken me, I don't know, what's this, two and a half months now? I'm pushing three months. Um, reason I'm making the video today, guys, is just to drop in, say hi, and uh, tell you what's going on. Uh, I'm still stuck down here in the Philippines. I have been here since October of 2019, um, all of October 2020, and now into um, 2021. And yet, just yesterday, the Philippines yet again announced more enhanced lockdowns and more travel bans coming into place. Um, we are in the longest running lockdown in the, in the world bar none. Um, I haven't been able to make it back to the UK uh, because the travel is far too complicated. Uh, from here to get back to the UK, uh, well, from here just to get to an international airport, I have to travel through several different barangays as they're called. Um, each barangay requires a 14 day lockdown to be allowed to go into it. So to get from the, the one where we live, basically, to get to a, an international airport would, under the current laws, take me about two, two and a half months. Um, and then upon arrival in the UK, depending upon whatever the hell Boris and his buddies are up to at any given moment in time, I may need another 14 days in a government-appointed hotel at my own expense. Um, and I think it's about £1,700 at the moment. Um, so, so far I have not been back to the UK um, since October of 2019. Uh, what does this mean? Um, well, I've spoken in the past about many issues um, on my channel, everything from window cleaning, um, traditional and water fed pole window cleaning, um, right the way through to mental health, um, etc. Um, I don't cover mental health in depth, so please don't go looking at those, but I do talk about um, you know, things like suffering with depression, etc. And this lockdown has really, 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 um, uh, well, yeah, it, it's really brought out um, not a good side, shall we say. Uh, the old, uh, the old noggin um, wasn't doing well at the end of last year, um, to the point where it was getting uh, borderline suicidal, for want of a better phrase. Uh, let's not mince words. Uh, imagine being locked down in an area probably half the size of Alton Towers, for example. Um, it is literally, that is what we have been faced with for over a year now. Um, so, I was spending a lot of time, that's, a, that's actually an under-exaggeration or whatever the word is. I was spending over 20 hours a day just sitting on a bed, staring at shit on Facebook, staring at, uh, you know, reading junk um, books, reading trash novels on uh, my Kindle and uh, yeah, just not doing well at all and I spent most of that time actually just sleeping and in coming towards the end of last year I decided it was time to do something about it so with no end to these lockdown insights, with no end to a resolve for this COVID and with every five minutes now some other new variant popping up, um, decided to do something about it so I applied the little bit of knowledge that I have into creating something new down here um, and into doing what I can to, um, yeah, to, to help do my bit as it were. Um, you see the orange truck behind me? Um, well, it's filled with those water containers. Um, those are all purified um, drinking water, uh, highly purified drinking water. We have on our property here, we have a, a natural water spring. Um, still needs to be treated to make it safe for drinking. I drink the spring water, not a problem, it tastes good. But to, to get Department of Health certification, um, it needs to be um, purified and treated. Um, in fact, hang on a sec, I'll give you a quick, quick look see here. Um, this is our little water treatment facility right there. Um, and with that, we produce the purified drinking water. So. That's the uh, first delivery uh, about to go out this morning. So I'm just, there we go, I find that's an easier angle. And that's the first delivery about to go out this morning. We'll make three runs today. We aim to deliver around 300 gallons a day. Having started this project, the reason I did is because down here, your typical Filipino laborer, shop worker, etc., 
even if they are working, their salary is 250 pesos a day, um, about four pound a day, um, if, if they're getting paid a full day at that. Uh, most businesses cannot sustain paying staff indefinitely during during periods of lockdown. Um, so, so many people have been laid off. Um, now we've started a purified water production company. It makes us uh, essential goods and services. So we can travel um, to deliver water um, to people. And yeah, um, the reason I decided to go with the water delivery side of it, there's other companies down here in the Philippines um, in this area. They're charging 60 pesos a gallon, um, 50, 60 pesos a gallon which is uh, well almost a quarter of somebody's day's wage just so that they can provide clean, safe drinking water for their family to use. Um, the reason that people prefer to use purified water here um, is we suffer from a lot of typhoons, we suffer from a lot of very heavy rains, etc. And these will in turn bring with them um, plenty of flooding, which in turn puts uh, extensive pressure on the city water, Nawasa as it's called down here on the city water, and they actually will shut off the water supply um, when they can't handle um, when they can't handle the pressure. Um, and this in turn will lead to um, the possibility and a sorry getting tongue tied, the possibility and outbreaks of things such as cholera, typhoid, um, hepa, etc. And I don't really fancy hepatitis say typhoid or cholera. Um, the reason, the, the other reason I started the water company um, was the fact that at a quarter of somebody's daily wage just to have fresh water, I'm not one of those humanitarian types by a long stretch, so please, please don't think that's what this is about. Um, the other reason we started doing this was um, a quarter of somebody's daily salary is absolute insanity um, just to have safe water. So um, we actually sell these containers. Well, we don't sell the containers. The containers cost um, about two pound each down here. They're, they're not expensive by your standards in the West, but they are expensive down here. They cost about two pound each to buy. Um, however, um, we loan them out. We lend them out to the people. Um, these are our own gallon containers. They call that a gallon here in the Philippines. It's actually a five gallon container. Um, we loan them out to the people. We only charge them for refilling the containers. And we charge them 15 pesos a fill, which um, in the grand scheme of things, I think is about 30 pence in old money. Um, but but on the upside, excuse me if I'm looking cream crackered, and because uh, I am knackered, man, it's, it's six-ish in the morning or so. You can hear the cockles kicking off. Um, but like all jobs, um, first man through the door in the morning, and I'm just waiting for the crew to turn up. and. What this has done is it's given me something to do with the daytime. Um, it didn't cost us much to get it done because luckily where we live we had, this was an old converted shed, uh, well this was an old shed that we converted. Um, we spent uh, two months literally ripping the whole thing apart and rebuilding it, um, getting it up to a usable safe standard. Um, the installation of the machines was something that I needed to bring in somebody a little bit more technical than myself. Um, but we managed to get it operating and we've also managed to get our Department of Health clearance. Um, so um, what effect has this had? Now we're producing safe, usable drinking water for the locals. Um, it's also got us to a point where we have four workers here. So that's uh, four guys now who were, were unemployed that are now able to support their families again. And it's given me something to do 12 hours a day um, because that's what we operate, we operate 12 hours a day, 6 days a week, um, sometimes 7. If it is really heavy rains out there and the, the local water system is shut down, we will operate 7 days a week to get water to people. Um, but it's given me something to do and that's the reason I'm looking so tired, not the depression anymore, that's gone. Um, well, for now it's gone, it's never gone, gone, it's still there. Um, but the reason I'm looking tired is just working so damn hard. Regarding the UK, I'll be back. I will be back. I guarantee, well, I don't guarantee, I promise I shall be back as soon as humanly possible. Philippines again just last night announced yet new enhanced restrictions because of all these new damn variants. I have no idea what all this means at the minute. I was praying that I would be home by April. Um, 
probably looking closer to maybe um, late May uh, or early June at the moment. Um, but as soon as it is physically viable, um, I will be coming home. Um, I will be taking care of my at-home UK commitments. Um, as for the world of window cleaning, yeah, we're still involved. Green Pro Clean is still there. Green Pro Clean is still going. Um, as for my YouTube channel, I haven't done much on the world of window cleaning lately because window cleaning isn't a thing down here in the Philippines. So we don't get it. Um, so there's nothing really to talk about. I've done a lot of the talky talky videos about the thoughts in my head about window cleaning. And I can do more of those if you have um, the desire to see more of that on my channel. Um, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be putting all of the um, window cleaning videos into a playlist on the channel and um, I will be making a series of videos about the water station to go on the channel um, and these will be aimed at uh, other people thinking of starting water stations, building water stations down here, not just down here, they also use these kind of water stations um, well, all over uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, uh, Africa, etc. Um, other parts of the world. So I'll be making some videos about what I have learned, the pros, the cons, etc. about those. And I'm also considering making some videos about where I live, the town where I live now, uh, where I've become stranded, basically. Um, cast away, Tom Hanks, eat your heart out. Um, but at least I can still get a bottle of Schmerz off when needed. Um, but at the end of the day, um, that's, what, uh, that's, that's the direction I'll be going. So let me know what you'd like to see me talk about down here, stuck in the Philippines. Um, it's all good. Comments, guys, bang them in the box below. Questions, bang them in the box below. I hope you're all staying safe. Um, today's a really sucky day, by the way. Um, off to the funeral of a friend a little later today that died from cancer. But shit happens. Anyway, signing off for the minute. I'll catch you all soon. Ciao for now.